All right, fig lovers, this is Ross the Fig Boss. Today's video, we're gonna talk about early ripening fig varieties and talk about really uh, how you can get early ripening figs. Everyone, I think, wants and can benefit from earlier ripening figs, especially if you consider the Breva crop as an example. The Breva crop is the first crop of figs that ripens on a fig tree. However, not every fig variety can produce and ripen Breva reliably. So it's really important to choose the right variety. Or if you're actually paying attention towards the main crop, it's the same thing. You have to choose a variety that ripens early. So first and foremost, selecting the right variety goes a very long way towards actually ripening them early. And I think no matter where we live, as I was getting to, we can benefit by having early ripening figs. Just take Brabas as an example. Even if your figs ripen relatively early in the season and you live in a really hot, dry place like West Texas, Arizona, Southern California, or Florida, you could still benefit by getting a variety that produces Brava. So varieties like Desert King I've mentioned, uh, Villette de Bordeaux, uh, Verdino or the Adriatic, some of the Adriatic figs really produce super nice Brabas, Long de Dute, um, Black Mission even produces a nice Brava. So you got a you know, 30 to 45 day head start on the main crop just by selecting a variety that produces Brava. Um, so I think that's fantastic. But normally when we think about this topic of early ripening varieties, we don't think about Brabas. We think more about main crop, which is the, the fruits that form on the new growth of the season. And this is a really important crop for people in these mild areas, uh, especially let's say parts of the Pacific Northwest, uh, places like San Francisco or parts of Northern California uh, or Seattle, let's say. You also have places north of me, I'm here in the Philadelphia area, but places like Chicago or places in uh, upstate New York. Um, certainly if you go into Europe, you got places like the United Kingdom, Belgium, um, Germany, northern France, Norway, even Denmark, you can grow figs in these places. So, you know, that's what makes, I think, the fig in a way so special is its wide adaptability and how you can grow figs in such a unusual climate. Now, the tree next to me is really, I think, one of the four main prime examples or benchmarks of an early ripening fig variety. This is called Rondé Bordeaux. It doesn't actually produce Breva, so that's an unfortunate thing right there, but it does produce main crop pretty much as early as you can get alongside other varieties like Pastelier, Floria or Michurinska 10, and also Celeste. Now, the way that you can sort of determine if your fig variety ripens early is if you go to in, inside here to the tree and you look really closely at the branches and you look at the fig formation, you can see there are pea-sized fruits that have formed on this tree, on this Rondé Bordeaux. And so I can count basically from the number of days, about 65 to 70 days later, this fig will be ripe. And so sort of mathematically, I, I know when each of these varieties will ripen. And that's one way we can classify each of these varieties as early, mid-season, or late season. And so another example I could point to is actually right here. This is a variety called LSU Huye. This was actually bred in the Louisiana State University breeding program. And Celeste, one of the figs I mentioned that's a benchmark, uh, actually was the parent of this tree. And so it's relatively early, but I would argue if you count the number of days, it probably will produce, instead of that 65 days or 70 days, it's somewhere around 75 to 80 days. But still, that's, I think, relatively early for most people in most places. And, um, you know, I think people get a little bit bogged down on just the number of days it takes, anywhere from 65 to let's say 75 days. I think what's really more important is people overlook is actually how long the crop takes in general from start to finish. What is the exact ripening window? And so I would still classify because this fig ripens a lot of figs relatively in a short period of time. I always finish the entire harvest in, my, in the length of my growing season. Usually most of the early varieties are done by about September 15th here in the Philadelphia area and start around August 1st. Now other varieties like this one here, this one's called JH Adriatic and instead of actually starting August 1st, this one's gonna start somewhere around September 1st. And this may be a nice benefit to all you guys out there because you wanna extend your harvest season. 
Um, and so instead of this being a 65 or 70 or 75 day variety, this one actually takes about 90 or 85 days. And so again, that's obviously a nice benefit for those of us that live in these longer season climates, places with enough heat to actually ripen most varieties in the length of their season. So those are, I think, the main messages. I would highly recommend that you guys go onto my blog, figboss.com. Just published an article there, updated it on early ripening fig varieties that will give you guys all the details and more of what we can cover just in a short video. And it details out every single variety that I've come across that actually will ripen early. So you guys can choose some of the best ones for you. Now, I will say this, some of my favorites, I've talked about this a little bit in the past, Ronde Bordeaux, without a doubt, Pastelier, Celeste, Party of Chicago is another one. I do indeed like Floria. I was very surprised that this one here, Barb alone, was able to ripen its main crop right alongside Pastelier and Ronde Bordeaux last year. So sometimes you might think that a fig is not as early as you might think. You trial it, you grow it out for a number of years and it turns out to be much earlier than you thought. Another one I really love is this one here, LSU Tiger, Long to Dute, Green Michurinska, we could probably place in that early category. Maybe it's in the mid season. And then of course, I would say Campaneri and this one here, Moro de Caneva. So thank you guys for watching this one. Hit that subscribe button if you got something out of this, hit the like button and uh, stay tuned for more information on early ripening varieties. Take care, guys.